Long ago, on December 17, 1903, humanity made a significant progress in science and engineering. Thanks to the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, the two aviation brothers whom are generally credited with inventing, building, and flying the world's first successful airplane. They, or rather he, Orville Wright, piloted the first powered airplane 20 feet above a windswept beach in North Carolina. The flight lasted for 12 seconds and covered 120 feet, and that served as a blueprint and foundation for aviation industry. Ever since then, airplanes of various kind, size, and model have been produced aiding us as a means of transportation to our various destination. But with all things, there are certain risks attached to it, and airplanes are no different. Usually what gets attention for cause of plane crash is mostly pilot error, bad weather, and few mechanical errors. But what happens when you are 31,000 feet in the air and all of a sudden, your window gets broken like in a James Bond movie? This rarely happens, which is why it's mostly not given enough thought. And usually when we think of mechanical failure, we tend to think of the engine failing or a bird stuck in the fan. And the only use for airplane windows for us is to whip out our phone and take amazing aerial photos to post on social media. But that wasn't the case for Jennifer Riordan, mother of two. She was partially sucked out from a plane when her window broke. Luckily, other passengers rushed to her rescue and pulled her back in, but it was too late. She died on board as a result of the trauma to her head and body from the excessive air and debris. Which brings up the questions, what happens when your window breaks 31,000 feet in the air? Firstly, it could be anything. In the case of Jennifer Roden, parts of the engine had blown out, the fan cowling and the air intake to be precise, which led to depressurization that caused a window to burst and shatter, and as a result brought in shrapnel and debris from the wrecked engine into the plane. But in brief, it all have to do with air pressure in the cabin. When a window breaks, the seal holding this compressed air inside it breaks, and it rushes out to equalize conditions inside the cabin with those outside. If a window gets broken, then that plane has a hole in the pressure vessel. The air inside will try to escape, and if you are close to that window, there's going to be an incredibly strong wind heading out, and it's strong enough to suck somebody out of the window, potentially. The person sitting next to the window, and perhaps those closest to him or her, would likely experience some borotrauma, which is an injury caused by a change in air pressure, affecting typically the ear or the lung. And without compressed air, passengers would be unable to breathe due to lack of oxygen, suffering hypoxia at over 10,000 feet, which can result in death. Luckily, there are oxygen masks on the plane that provides just enough oxygen for the pilot to make an emergency landing. Airplane windows can break on their own, they might crack, which is no cause for alarm, but they won't break. It takes extreme pressure, coupled with poor maintenance, for an airplane window to break. And when it does, the pressure from the cabin rushes out. It becomes noisy and windy, and passengers might suffer hearing loss from ruptured eardrums due to extreme pressure. Anything with not enough weight will be sucked out by the pressure, and slowly hypoxia sets in if you don't reach for the oxygen mask in 60 seconds, which can result to death. Because the oxygen flow in the body will be depleted leading to failure of the brain, liver, and other organs, and finally death. And at the height of 31,000 feet, this can happen quickly without giving the patient a time to recover. Also, suppose the engineers were on a coffee break, or watching the latest trailer from Marvel when they were fixing the planes. This could lead to improper assembly during routine maintenance, a manufacturing defect at the time the plane was made, coupled with damage from an unknown source, can lead to and cause a stress point for the window to break. Like in the case of British Airways Flight 5390, the maintenance manager replaced the windscreen with incorrect bolts on a like-for-like -like basis without reference to maintenance documentation. As the plane was due to depart shortly, he used smaller bolts to fix the airplane window, and as a result, the undersized bolts were unable to withstand the air pressure difference between the cabin and the outside atmosphere during flight. Fortunately, no one died, Investigators later found that the maintenance manager responsible for installing the incorrect bolts had failed to follow British Airways policies, but I suspect he was in a haste to watch the Goodfellas. But in his defense, the engineer had not been sleeping well and did the windscreen replacement work during the period when his body clock wanted him to sleep, a time when reasoning and judgment easily falter. That being said, the odds of an airplane window breaking is low. In such, it's really rare for an airplane window to break. Not that it's not possible, it is possible, but extremely rare. 
Aircraft windows are made from a form of plexiglass, such as lexin polycarbonate or acrylic plastics. This material is lightweight, relatively strong, and you can see clearly through it. The glass is layered, and the middle layer usually has a tiny hole in it to get rid of condensation. After all, airplane windows are made to withstand the strong differences in pressure between the air inside and outside the cabin, so you are safe from being probably found in Atlantis as half man half fish. I hope you learned something new today. If you want to know about top 10 unbelievable facts about the biggest shark ever, click on the video given on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.